Hey everybody, so happy to be back with you. Old Gamer Joe back with another review for you. We are looking at Liberated today, recently released onto Steam PC. This is a title that actually was released a little while back on the Nintendo Switch. Now it makes its PC debut. It comes from developer Atomic Wolf and L Inc. and was published by Walkabout. This is an action adventure game featuring a politically intriguing story and a very interesting comic book aesthetic that looks quite nice. The game will be priced at $19.99 here in North America. It will also include the two DLC packs that were previously released separately on the Nintendo Switch version. And you can get it on Steam, but you can also get it on goodoldgames.com or the Humble Bundle or GeForce Now. A bunch of different ways to pick this one up on PC now. So, like I mentioned, this is a comic book art aesthetic. That's actually how the story of this game is presented, through the pages of a comic book. It almost reminded me of using a comic book reader, something like that Marvel subscription service that came out a few years back. The game is not afraid to delve pretty deep into societal problems that we face, mostly revolving around the use of technology in our modern day lives. With people so willing and eager in some cases to put their information out there, the game questions whether or not we've given up a lot of our rights or our own liberties, really. You have one side that is willing to give up their liberty for security, but of course not everyone is on board with this idea, thus a group known as the Liberated is formed. This sets up a really interesting and well-told story that I was immediately engaged with from beginning to end, even though it does end a little bit abruptly, though the DLC will help to clear some of that up. While the game is only about a three and a half to four hour experience tops, across the four issues as this game calls them, you will play as a wide variety of different characters and see things from their perspectives. Gameplay in Liberated almost takes a back seat to the great presentation of this storyline, but it's still not half bad actually. Gameplay does take place on a 2D plane, with you generally moving in one of two directions, and it's a very linear experience for the most part. There's a good amount of running forward in this title, and you'll do some jumping along the way as well. But a lot of taking down your enemies in Liberated simply involves pointing your gun at them and shooting them. There are however some stealth elements for you to interact with if you so wish. I didn't always find them necessary, but they were fun from time to time. You can duck into corners using the Y button and wait for enemies to pass, then leap out at them with the X button and choke them out. Shooting is pretty basic, you use the right stick to aim, it works pretty decent, it wasn't perfect all of the time, but it got the job done, and then you use the right trigger to shoot. You can also reload by pressing the right bumper in. That's what most of this game is, running, shooting, and occasionally ducking into corners to creep up behind enemies. Even though the majority of this game is all about taking down enemies and shooting and blasting your way forward, you will come across a few puzzles from time to time. Most of these involve connecting circuits or deciphering passcodes in order for you to get through certain doors. Nothing you haven't seen before in other action games in terms of puzzles, but they do break up the monotony a little bit. Overall, nothing groundbreaking in terms of gameplay here, but the way that the gameplay is presented to you is really the most exciting part. I will say that the enemy AI is pretty stupid in this game for the most part. That was probably the most disappointing aspect. I found that these enemies didn't really react to dead bodies that were on the ground, or they wouldn't even see me even though I was right in front of them at certain moments. It's a small complaint though, and it didn't really detract from the overall gameplay experience. So I know we touched on those visuals a little bit earlier, but boy is Liberated a really great look title. The comic book art aesthetic is beautiful. It really made me want to go back and read some comics. I really enjoyed how the game would transition from the comic book world right into the gameplay. This effect never really got old to me, but I will say that when you actually are playing the game, things aren't quite as pretty at times. There are some low-res textures that have perhaps carried over from the Switch version. I did appreciate, though, that the game ran at a constant smooth frame rate. I was playing it in 4K, so you can select your resolutions now. I'm assuming that wasn't an option on the Nintendo Switch version, but it would have been nice to have some other graphical effects to mess around with. Really nothing like that here in the PC version. Kind of a quick and dirty port, but it gets the job done, and visually this is still a pretty appealing title. While the comic book scenes did look a lot better compared to the in-game action, I still was overall a fan of the look of this game on the whole. The soundtrack in Liberated is pretty subtle too. It doesn't really stand out for any particular reason. It just kind of works with the environment that you find yourself in. Sometimes there's not even any musical tracks at all, but the sound effects are pretty good actually. The gunfire sounds great, and the voice acting across the different comic book cutscenes is pretty good for the most part. I was quite enjoying it. 
Liberated does take on some pretty bold subject matter here. That's not going to be for everybody, but I really did enjoy the story that they told here. You get to see things from both sides. The funny thing about Liberated is that it doesn't really answer the questions that it asks because I guess there's really no answers to some of these questions yet. Not any at the least that society can all agree upon. As an action game with some puzzle elements, Liberated is solid at best, but in terms of storytelling and presentation, it really is a cut above the rest. It's like it never existed. All we know is that it used to be a Project Manhattan facility. Top secret. Could have been a missile silo. Or a bunker, maybe. Thanks for checking out our review of Liberated. Please consider subscribing so you can continue to receive all of our great coverage here at I Dream of Indie. And do help support us by heading down to the description box and checking out our Patreon and some other great links. However you end up supporting I Dream of Indie, we thank you so much for doing so.